Right, uh, I've built all the frames now. Uh, I'm going to take a look at pre-assembling and covering. Uh, I'm in the dome now and I've got the fire full belt. So although it's a nice sunny day today, uh, I've got to try and get it as warm as possible in here. I'll, that'll, I'll show you that later. Uh, first we're going to do pre-assembly. We, we have our frames um, all set up. All, they're all lined with the base at, um, measurement on the bottom. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put three together and then cover three at a time. Uh, that's about as big as we can manage on this door to be honest. Uh, right, see cramps. Uh, we take one door, one frame, swing it that way. Now you've got to be a bit careful at this point to make sure that your frames are exactly flush, top and bottom. Because um, if, if they're a bit low, you'll end up with a sticky up bit at the top. So just be careful and uh, take your time. Make sure that everything's right before you put any screws in. Wow, in here. Right, uh, I've got three sections put together, so I'll just pop some screws in and we'll uh, move on to the next stage. Always get um, your ones in the corner as close to here as you can. Down here is no good because what will happen is that will want to do this split. So get them up here if you can, as close to the corners as you can.
You might have also noticed that I'm not putting the um, screws in straight. Uh, that's the thing, I'm not putting them in straight, I'm putting them in that way. Because you have your two, two pieces of wood together like that. If you put them straight in, they can pull apart. But if you put them in at an angle, like that, they're much less likely to come apart. So put them, put them in wonky is better than putting them in nice and neat and straight. Right, uh, next we'll move on to covering with the polythene. That's why we need the heat on and I'm sweating. Right, um, I've got the fire on uh, and we're up to about 30 degrees in here. It's boiling. Uh, on, on something of this size, you're going to have to um, keep the place warm when you, when you stretch because, because there's such a big distance between corners. If you didn't put it on when it was warm, uh, as soon as it went out into the sunshine on a nice warm day in the summertime, it'll go floppy and loose. Um, so you, it, it's far easier to warm it up than it is to try and pull it tight. Uh, I'm going to use one of these staple guns, uh, just a little like a staple gun you can buy anywhere. Um, and it uses the 140 staples, which are not the thin ones for um, upholstery. You get sometimes you get thin like paper staples, they're the broad backed ones. Because it, the thinner ones just pull straight through the plastic. Uh, the broad back ones. Uh, work much better. Right, I've tacked one corner uh, and what I'm going to do next, I'll go out the frame actually, is I'm going to pull it tight to this corner here. I normally have a, um, a jig that pushes, uh, I've got a motorbike lift that pushes up and I've got some um, rubber bands that pull the, the um, plastic tight on the smaller domes but that won't work on this because they're just too big so I have to hand cover all of them. There is 18 of these to do so be prepared for a, a bit of pulling and heaving on. Right now I've got to spin it over to get to the other side, to the other corner.
centre and I've tacked the corners. I haven't put too many staples in the corners because sometimes you have to, they, they will loosen off from the corners and you have to tighten them up a bit. You can see the centre one's loosened off a bit, so if you don't put too many staples in, you can easily pop it off and re tighten it. Right, from then on, I work from the centre out to each corner, down the top and both sides. The idea is to get it as tight as possible. You can't over tighten it. Um, get it as tight as you, as you can. Okay, we've got it turned over and all we have is to staple all the way along here. I'm going to start in the middle, put it tight as we can. There we have it. Uh, that's all tight. It's in a warm environment, so if we take it outside, it'll go uh, into a cooler environment. It'll even tighten up even more. And uh, we'll put that on the heap and move on to the next one. Right. I've got uh, starting to build a pile now. Um, be sure to stack them against something solid. I'll put a couple of pieces of wood at the back there. Because uh, you don't want these falling down. If they fall down, you'll end up with holes in them, and there's nothing worse than uh, getting holes in your brand new plastic. That's the uh, how tight it is. So I've got. Um, see, look at that there. A little ding there from something. That's, this is the most vulnerable point. Uh, you have to be really, really careful with them now. It's more likely uh, that you're going to damage the plastic. Um, before you build than it is after you build. I've seen them go years after the build with no damage at all. Uh, but I've often marked one uh, when I'm building. 